All right, everybody, welcome back to another Bee Mother review. And today we've got from XM Studios, this is Spider Gwen. Uh, just brand new. This one is just released within the last couple weeks. And, you know, Spider Gwen, she's a, she's a newer character. She came along in um, Edge of Spider-Verse number two, and this came out in November 2014. So she has been around for about three years, and you can see on the title of this cover it says she, spider woman uh, but she quickly took on the moniker of spider gwen so that's how she's known these days um so it is gwen stacy it is the um you know f the character that we all know except she is from an alternate dimension she's from a place called earth 65 and in that dimension she's the one that becomes spider-man she gets bitten by the spider and gets all the spider-like abilities super strength super agility spider sense she can cling to walls um so she's very much that dimension's version of spider-man and in fact in that dimension peter parker who does exist um is a friend of hers from high school they you know they do have a close relationship that way but he actually becomes the lizard so uh, it's kind of a, a twisted version of the Spider-Man story that we all know. Uh, so very cool uh, to have those kind of alternate stories. Uh, she does make her way into the uh, standard Marvel universe, the one that we all know. Uh, you know, she goes back and forth. She's a, she has a watch. She's able to hop between dimensions. That's uh, one of her um, abilities, I guess, uh, with uh, equipment. So. You know, she gets her costume and her web shooters, from, she doesn't develop them, she gets them from uh, Janet Van Dyne of her dimension. And her web shooters operate a little bit differently. They sort of absorb moisture from the air and create web fluid that way. So it's kind of a, a everything's just a little bit of a tweak from Spider-Man. So very cool character. She became really, really popular. Um, Kind of started a Gwenolution, I, uh, if you want to call it that. Um, you know, she became Gwenpool and Gwenum, and you know there was a Gwen version of just about every character out there for a while. Um, so very popular character. It was only a matter of time before statues came out and collectibles came out of her. So let's get in the review and see if this one lives up to the hype of Spider Gwen. All right, we're gonna move right in to talk about the sculpt on this statue. It's sculpted by a fellow of the name of George Gregory, and he's done a really nice job here, you know? Uh, simple details all around this statue. You got a nice texture on the base. It's sort of a, a rusted metal, sort of kind of a tin roof sort of look to it. Um, nice details with the antennas. The backpack here, you got, you know, the flap is half open with the zipper around the edge. Got the school books inside, the drumsticks here, which are important for this character. She's part of a band called the Mary Janes. The Mary Jane Watson of that dimension is the lead singer of the band. Um, but, and then Spider Gwen herself, you know, the suit. Uh, it's mostly smooth throughout. And, you know, a lot of Spider Man statues are like that. They don't mess around um, adding a bunch of texture to those statues. So they followed that formula here, and I think it looks very nice. It helps to, the smoothness helps accentuate her figure. She's got a very feminine figure. I like how her hips are kind of tilted just a little bit to give her a little bit of personality, but she's not over-sexualized uh, in any way. She's just got a really nice figure on her. Uh, the portraits are really, really well done. There's three of them. There's two unmasked, one with a mask. I'll show you the other two later on, but this is the hood up unmasked option and really really nice face very pretty face on this statue or on that portrait there uh, now let's talk a little bit about the design this piece was designed by Sofara she's part of the HMO team but also a freelance artist and she did the art print that comes along with the statue you can see her style here she's very you got a very playful style kind of whimsical style and I think that really suits this character well she's you know, at this moment in time, I think she looks very carefree. You know, she's showing off her spider abilities, sticking to, you know, this rooftop smokestack. And, you know, she's up in the air where spider people belong. 
you know, up above everybody down, looking down at the streets. So, you know, really, really nice design. And I also want to comment on the size of this statue. I mean, Spider-Gwen, popular character, but really I don't think most people want a big elaborate base for Spider-Gwen. This is just the perfect size. It's easy to display. It also means you got smaller packaging, cheaper shipping, all those sorts of things. Uh, just a simple statue. So I like the direction they're going with this piece. Keeping it simple, focusing on the character and her abilities. Got a few elements of her background to tie, tie it in and tell a little bit of a story. Just a really, really effective design on this piece. So great job by XM Studios. Okay, so paint on this statue. You know, as I mentioned in the last segment, uh, kind of a simple statue, so it has kind of a simple paint job, I think. Uh, they've done a really nice job. I like the roof. I mentioned it's sort of got a rusty texture to it. It's also got a little bit of a rusty paint job uh, mixed in there. Nicely done. Um, very nice clean lines everywhere. I mean, you're not getting any spillover between colors. The web lines, the teal web lines on the, you know, inside the hood and the arms really nice and clean uh, the you know the lines between the white and the black nicely done little bit of a light bluish gray shading on the white parts of her suit so that's all really nicely done uh, the one thing that looks a little bit strange is the smokestack um, it looks like they've tried to give it a worn appearance uh, like it, it's almost like they sponged some of the paint off uh, during production and it you know you don't really see it. I mean, you're going to display it like this, right? So you're not going to see it. But that's the one thing that doesn't, you know, I don't love about the statue. Um, otherwise, as I said, nice clean paint job. I do have to point out on this masked portrait, um, you know, typically in the comics, her eyes are white. Uh, and they're, you know, of course, here they're silver. Uh, it doesn't look bad, but it's not really typically how it's shown. The other thing is in the comics, instead of having this hard red or pinkish line around her eyes uh, it's often shown as sort of a glow like a faded uh, paint overspray around her eyes um, sometimes she is drawn like this with the with the hard line but um, you know most of the time it's kind of a, a glow as I said but so this mask it looks good I do like it I'm tempted to use this one as my permanent display um, but it is not totally comic accurate. Um, otherwise, uh, paint job really, really nicely done. I like the colors, nice clean lines everywhere, so nice paint job. Alright, moving on to production and build quality. Uh, we'll just run quickly through how to assemble the statue. So first, you gotta put together the base. It comes in several pieces. Now before you do that, make sure you get the registration number off the bottom and register your statue help fight piracy. Um, so register your statues. Always get that before you put it together because um, you know it's hard to get after. So you know first you got the smokestack here and you can see there's a metal pig and it fits into a, the top of the base here. Slides right in and then you got various parts to put on. So you got this antenna here and that fits in the side so you can see this horizontal piece you kind of put that in first and then the bottom slots in with a magnet. Uh, you've got this little antenna here, magnet, easy. Uh, you've got this one here, and this piece is a wire, so you can kind of um, twist it around to your liking. So it, there's two small holes on the side here, two metal rods, and you just sort of plug it into the hole. So uh, it slides into place like that. And you can slide it in quite a ways there. Uh, you got this antenna right here, and it slides into a hole on the side of the smokestack with a metal peg as well. So slide that in. Uh, you've got her backpack, metal peg there, and that is just uh, there's a slot for it on the side. So slot that in. Like so, and then of course you've got Spider Gwen's body. You can see there's a metal peg coming uh, off her back there, and it slots into a hole 
at the top of the smokestack. So you just slide her into place. And I will point out her feet have sort of a kind of a velvety pad on them so um, that she doesn't scratch the base when you slide her on. And you just slide her down like that. So pretty easy to assemble all of that. And then you've got your choice of portrait options. So I'll show you the last of the three. Um, this is the headphone unmasked. So you just slot that in. So you can see it's also got the hood on the, you know, down on her back there. Uh, it's got this little piece of wire, you know, connecting her headphones to her phone. And there's a tiny hole at the top of the phone. You just plug that in and like that. And of course, this is a, it is a wire, so you can kind of bend it and shape it. And then her arm and I will point out I really like that they how they've uh, done this and the magnets kind of up here in her shoulder and up here um, I remember an early prototype had you know the the connection here along one of the web lines and it didn't look very good so they, they did a nice adjustment there so you don't even see the seam and I will also point out I like how her hand is actually touching the headphone I saw this piece at Singapore Comic Con last year and the hand was kind of off her head a little bit. Uh, so they really tighten that up. I really like what they've done. And also on the other two portraits with the hood, her thumb and index finger do wrap right around the fabric of the hood. So it looks like she's actually tugging it. Really, really nicely engineered piece. So quality wise, you know, there's, there's really nothing to complain about. You saw all the parts fit together nicely. Uh, it's got good weight to it. It's very sturdy. Um, you know, not much to, to complain about at all. Um, packaging, of course, very, very good. Um, overall, the overall package on this piece, really, really top notch. Okay, so we're going to wrap things up here. Spider Gwen from XM Studios, of course, very popular character the last few years. Very deserving of having her own statue. And they've done a really, really nice job here. I like the sculpt. She's got a great figure great portraits. Uh, I love the design. It's, you got you know, a compact base. It's an easy to display piece, but you got enough little story elements, you know, all over to, you know, give you a, a fulfilling background of the character. You know, you got the backpack, the, the drumsticks, the smartphone, all that, you know, it, it really brings out her character um, very well in a compact design. And I like that direction that XM has taken for this character. Quality is very, very good as always. Packaging is very good as always. So really, really a good um, piece from XM. The one flaw I would say, a uh, couple is, you know, maybe the paint job on the smokestack could have been better. And the uh, a mass portrait, uh, that comic accuracy there, but still looks very, very nice. Overall, really great piece from XM. I'm very happy to have it. So uh, hopefully you enjoyed the review. More to come this year. We've got more from XM. Uh, we've got more from HMO. We're going to have some Prime 1, some Sideshow. Uh, so we've got lots of options. So tune in. Stay, stay tuned to our channel and we'll talk to you guys soon.